Hi, welcome to AYP. Today we're going to be talking about the industry standard program for slow motion, which is Twixter. We'll give you a brief tutorial on it and introduce the program to you. So in one of our previous videos, we discussed briefly frame rate, 60i versus 24p. So for today's example, we're going to be using both of those frame rates to see how Twixter handles slow motion. So today we're here at the AYP Labs and we're going to show you how to speed up and slow down footage using Twixter for Final Cut Pro. First, we're going to show you how to set up footage in order to speed it up. From the effects window in the lower right hand corner, drag Twixter, the effect, onto the clip that you would like to speed up. Once you've dragged Twixter onto your clip, you can go up to the inspector window in the upper right and control the speed of your footage. For this example, we will be speeding up our footage 300%. Once you've selected the speed, Twixter will automatically render your footage at the speed desired. After doing this, you may have frames at the very end that you may need to remove. So the enemy of slow motion for anyone who's worked with it is motion blur. So for our purposes, we want to get the most crisp shot we can using the fastest frame rate in order to make it so that Twixter doesn't have to interpolate blurred frames. Now we're going to show you how to prepare a clip for slow motion. First, select the clip. Go to the end of the clip by clicking the down arrow and move the selection bar back just slightly to give yourself a few frames of buffer. Now hold down Shift plus H to bring up the retime feature. Stretch out your clip accordingly. In our example, we will be extending the clip five times because we will be slowing it down to 20%. Now press Option G to create a new clip. Once the new clip is created, drag Twixter from your effects window in the lower right. In the inspector in the upper right, slow down your footage to 20%. Once the footage is rendered, you will see it in your events folder. For the sake of easier processing and editing, you may want to export the clip and re-import it. A quick note, in order to achieve the best results, it's best to use a clip that is 60i versus 24p, and we'll show you the difference. So that was a brief tutorial on how to use Twixter to speed up and slow down footage inside of Final Cut Pro. We hope that you found it helpful. Be sure to subscribe now to stay updated on my show, and we'll give you tips and insight to keep advancing your photography. Also check out our guests' website for a closer look at their work. Tune in to our next episode of Advancing Your Photography for an inside look at another photographer's world. Until then, this is Mark Silver reminding you to get out and capture your own images of life.